Before we start this video, we just want to say thank you for your support. We're happy to see that the videos have provided value for many of you, and we hope that we continue to deliver value and help you through your problems. Is music the most powerful way in which we express our personalities? Does our musical taste say more about who we really are than the clothes we wear or the friends we choose? How much can you really learn about someone based on their favorite music? We can't deny that music speaks to us. We connect with music. We relate to its melodies, harmonies, and lyrics. And a powerful tune can invoke incredible emotions within us. The psychological effect of music in the human brain has been studied extensively. But what does your musical taste say about you? Why we like certain genres. Most people find themselves listening to one or two genres almost exclusively. But have you ever stopped to wonder why you might be attracted to pop or metal or classical? A number of studies have examined this interesting subject with incredible results. Do you like complex music like jazz or classical? According to certain studies, you might be more creative or have a higher IQ. Pop music lovers tend to be extroverted and honest. If you like rap music, you're probably pretty outgoing. Country music fans are usually pretty conventional and hardworking, and metalheads tend to be more introverted and could even suffer from low self-esteem. Every single music genre says something about our personalities. Why is certain music more nostalgic than others? One of the most powerful emotions that music can evoke is nostalgia. A simple track can bring back tons of incredible memories, both joyful and sad, suddenly. Music flings us back in time to a forgotten moment in our lives. But what causes this? Why does some music seem more nostalgic than others? An interesting 2010 study found that autobiographical music was most likely to cause nostalgic emotions. Or in other words, music that involved a real life story from the perspective of the singer. Even more interesting was the fact that music with mixed emotions caused the most nostalgia, specifically a mixture of joy and sadness. Perhaps this is because in reality, life itself contains a mixture of both joy and sadness. Hey, before we continue to the next point, we'd like to connect with some of you who currently play music. Tag Psych2Go in your video. We'll watch all of them and even feature the best ones in our upcoming video to give you a little exposure or a head start to your career. Anywho, let's get back to the next point about music facts. Why does some music give us the shivers? Have you ever experienced a truly powerful piece of music? Was it so powerful that you found yourself getting the shivers? Did goosebumps start to appear along your arms? If so, you're not the only one. This is a pretty common experience, but why does some music evoke such a powerful physical reaction in us? A 2010 study set out to answer this question, and they found that people who were more open to new experiences were more likely to experience shivers when listening to music. You're also more likely to have this powerful reaction if you listen to tons of music throughout each day. Funnily enough, the study found that it doesn't really matter which genre you're listening to. Why do some people love bass? The heavy, booming nature of bass is a big part of popular music these days. Some people absolutely love bass, and this musical element seems to affect them in a deep way. But why are some people so crazy about bass? One study found that males are more likely to enjoy heavy bass in music. There's even some suggestion that those who enjoy bass are more likely to have antisocial tendencies and borderline personality disorders. But these are of course very rare cases and correlation doesn't always equal causation. Why athletes love pump up music. There's definitely a very specific type of music we listen to at the gym. It's usually vigorous pump up music with high BPM that gets us motivated and excited, but why does this music seem to be so fitting for athletic activity? One study found a link between our music preferences and our ideal self image. Basically, people prefer music that they think is most fitting to their own perception of themselves. Athletes love vigorous music because they feel it fits with their dynamic lifestyle and persona. Why teens love heavier music. We're all familiar with that one stereotype of the angsty teen who loves heavy metal. And sometimes this stereotype is a reality for many teens. But have you ever wondered why some teens seem drawn to heavy metal and heavier genres in general? One study looked into this and found something very interesting. Apparently, teens with this music preference are more likely to feel rejected and have low self-esteem. Although once again, this doesn't mean that everyone who enjoys metal or heavy genres has these issues. Why some people like repetitive music? Most of the time, repetitive music is generally seen as a bad thing, but some music with repetitive elements can be calming, meditative, and relaxing. 
But why do some people prefer repetitive music? Some studies have suggested that those who are less open to new experiences might be more likely to enjoy repetitive music. We're not saying there's anything wrong with either repetitive music or being less open to new experiences. Some people are just naturally more conservative and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's definitely an interesting tidbit of information that sheds light on the link between musical taste and personality. What kind of music are you into? Do you have music suggestions and want us to analyze you? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.